look at just, oh, so cute. Let me show you. I was whitening my teeth earlier, so I had whitening strips and I've got a clip to keep my baby hairs down and I am currently marinating as I keep my self tanner on. I'll show y'all the self tanner that I used. Let me just tell ya, it's so good. I've said this before, I mean, like this is all loving tan. I love all things loving tan. And I go back and forth between the purest gradual and this one. This is the Platinum Express, which is their darkest of dark color. If you're just trying self tanner for the first time or specifically loving tan, I actually don't recommend getting this because it's so dark, but it's their two hour express option. So you put it on, wait two hours, and when you wash it off, you're perfectly tan. Um, but we're getting ready for my dad's, my dad's surprise party is today. It's wild, so it's his surprise retirement party if you missed the other vlog. Um, and I said this, he has always worked like multiple jobs. He's always been a man who can't sit still. He has said like his whole life, I'll stop working when I'm dead. Like he just doesn't like to relax. Even if he ever was to actually choose to retire, I know it would last for approximately 30 days and then he'd be like, okay, I'm bored. Um, so he works a regular job and he's also a builder. And when I say regular, I mean just like a nine to five. He is leaving his nine to five. So that's why we're throwing him like a retirement party because he just won't ever be in like the workforce again. Or is that like really the appropriate term for it? I don't know. Like he just won't be working nine to five. He'll be a full-time builder for himself. So anyway, um, if you need someone in the Greenville Spartanburg area, let me know. He's great. He built this home, but I need you to tell everybody what's happening today. James League final. Dortmund Real Madrid. You got so what happens if they win? I'm getting tattooed. Of this. Somewhere. Y'all. I'll keep you updated, but I'm scared. I don't want him to get a sports tattoo. I'm going right here. Right here. It's exactly I, I need you to understand, this. sweetie. You have tattoos. You know what tattoo artists are gonna tell you. They're not gonna take this and make it tiny like this. They, know, will, they will not do it. I don't want it tiny. So you're gonna it's get- It's gonna be about that same size. BBB. Yes, in the logo. No color though, I think we're just gonna stay black and white. I actually thought of doing it negative, doing it mostly black with the letters as like, uh, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. inverse. Mm-hmm, I do, I know. You get on the inner arm, like a lot of those guys. So mm-hmm, good sense. I gotta put it up here so I can get my Shenron tattoo started. I never wanted his team to lose before, but I really want them to lose today. I, you guys, I have no problem with him getting asleep. I have no problem with additional tattoos, but I said it in the last vlog, and I know this isn't the case for everybody. I know there are some great guys out there who have some wild tattoos, but in my experience, the guys that I remember that were the worst guys, so difficult to deal with, so difficult, so every time you saw them, you were hard eye rolling when I was a bartender, all had sports teams tattooed on them. So I just like have it in my head. You know, it's like when you're naming your baby, and you're like, oh, we can't name our baby this because I had a friend in high school, I had a girl in high school I didn't like or whatever. Like, how I feel about sports tattoos. <laughs> and I have tons of tattoos and so does he, but like, ugh. Anyway. So this is what we've got so far. I actually think Salsaritas sends like all of this when you do catering. So this is all stuff that my mom got. We have tequila to make margaritas. We have margarita mix. Got the sterno. I'm also pretty sure that Salsarita sends this when they do like the full catering order. Stemless wine glasses, because my mama went a little crazy. Let's see, she got the Federalist, which I think she just got that because it's Cabernet. Um, this is one of my favorite, Apothic Red Winemaker. We had, I think she got a couple, I thought. Yeah, she did too. This is the wine that we had at my wedding, because it's one of my faves. Hot to trot, 14 hands. That's one of my dad's favorites. What else we got? Mark West Pinot, Menage a Trois, Red Blend. I think that's one of my dad's faves as well. Okay, there have been children in here. Oh, I need to put the Patron in the freezer. And then we also have Kirkland's Moscato Diasi. It's so good, but very sweet. That's really good for mimosas. You don't want a champagne mimosa. Chardonnay, and then... Sauvignon Blanc. Let's put this down here. We have to put 
put these on all of our freezer doors because Ezra will literally do this and he'll walk off and then shut the pantry door and we'll have no idea. Oh, I need to fill that back. Okay. So, just getting ready. <sighs> this is what it's like when you marry Sarah. House is spotless and I did not do a bit of it. <laughs> it was lovely. Um, he has a lot of uh, OCD. <laughs> and so when people, like at Thanksgiving, people will still be here and he'll be cleaning up. And I'm like, babe, you gotta cool it. So um, the party went off amazing. My dad, <laughs> it was so much fun. Some of his co workers came. Um, and old friends like again my dad's 56 almost 56 i think 50 no he'll be 57 this year yes he'll be 57 this year um and his he's like these people have known him longer than he's been married to my mom and he's been married to my mom for 36 years so it was amazing and some of these people i've known my whole life like their kids are my age um but it was really cool and costco makes the best cakes literally a cake like this it fed like 40 people and it was 25 bucks and it was the best most delicious cake so anyway i very much so enjoyed that um but i wanted to show y'all my outfit this is definitely gonna be a shorter vlog because i didn't want to film everybody and it ended up getting a little crazy there right around the time like my um our friend showed up i don't need to smile as i say this Dortmund lost So no tattoo for Sam, <laughs> but uh, we had friends come over to watch the game. So anyway, I can't link this through LTK, which is super weird. It might be one of those things they just like haven't re-signed a contract. I don't know, because literally I could link this company through LTK just a couple days ago, and now I can't anymore, but this is a romper and it is adorable. It is so comfy. It's longer in the back than the front. I'm very bloated now, that is the only thing. It's like rompers, you can kind of see, like maybe you can't, but I can, because I have eaten my body weight in chips, but it's very low cut, but still the front like isn't super dramatic or anything as far as like, you're not gonna come spilling out of it. These earrings are from Kendra Scott and I absolutely love them. I never wear like statement earrings like this. Like I'm usually like, oh, I don't wanna take away from the outfit. You know, I'll wear my simple earrings. But today, I'm so glad I chose to wear the vibrant earrings. So it was a really, really fun, cool day. It was like really cool to get to see that. But now I'm gonna go lay right there, right there. And I'm gonna go to sleep. I mean, it's literally like 9 p.m. I think, no, it's not even that late. It's probably not even that late. It's 8.47 and I'm going to bed. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog.